This is the 2020 Math Kangaroo Levels 9-10, Problem number 24. Two identical rectangles with sides of length 3 cm and 9 cm are overlapping as in the diagram. What is the area of the overlap of the two rectangles? A. 12 cm squared. B. 13.5 cm squared. C. 14 cm squared. D. 15 cm squared. Or E. 16 cm squared. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test, and here is where we'll be doing the solution. To start, as you can see, I've labeled some of the vertices in our figure in order for you to better understand what I'm talking about when I mention certain angles or sides. So we know that angle ACB, which I have drawn over here in blue, must be equal to angle DCE, also drawn over here in blue, because the two are vertical angles, and vertical angles are always congruent. Secondly, we know that angle CBA, drawn over here in green, and angle DEC, drawn over here in green as well, must also be congruent because they're both right angles, right? Because we have rectangles and rectangles all have 90 degree angles and similarly we know that a b is 3 because our rectangle is 3 by 9 and d e is also 3 so we have an angle angle and side that are congruent, which means this statement over here must be true. Triangle ABC must be congruent to triangle DEC by angle, angle, side. And this is helpful because, again, what we're trying to find is the area of, of the overlap. And this will help us do that. So now, as you can see, I have marked the base of the overlap area as x. If that's x, then CE must be 9 minus x because the entire length AE is 9 as given in the problem. And this is important but because we established this statement over here that these two triangles are congruent. That means that AC must be congruent to DC because congruent corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So now I can move this and we have an equation by using this triangle over here. Again, we can use Pythagorean theorem because we have a right triangle. We know DE, one of the legs, is 3, so 3 squared plus the other leg squared, which is 9 minus x, 9 minus x squared, must be equal to the hypotenuse squared, which, as you can see, is x squared. So then when you FOIL this out, the x squareds will cancel on both sides, and you'll have negative 18x is equal to negative 90, so x must be equal to 5. And this is really important because, as you know, the area of our parallelogram, because we have a parallelogram, is equal to base times height. The base of the parallelogram is x, so we just figured out that's 5, and we already knew that the height is 3. So our area is base times height, 5 times 3, which is equal to 15. And this is answer choice D. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.